If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. If you subscribe to a QuickBooks Online payroll service, you can create pay schedules when you initially create the employees. You can later edit an employee to select a different pay schedule if needed, or create a new pay schedule. To change an employee's pay schedule or create a new pay schedule, add or edit the employee's record. If adding a new employee or editing an employee for whom no paycheck has yet been issued, then the Add Employee window opens. Alternatively, if editing an existing employee for whom a paycheck has been issued, click the pencil icon next to the Pay section on their Employee Details tab to show their pay information in a new window. In either window that then opens, click the How Often Do You Pay Employee Name drop-down, where Employee Name is the employee's name. To select a different existing pay schedule for the employee, select its name from the drop-down menu of choices. Alternatively, to create a new pay schedule, select the Add New Choice from the drop-down menu to open the Add a Pay Schedule window. To set the pay frequency for the new pay schedule, select a choice from the Pay Frequency drop-down. To set the date of the next payday for this new pay schedule, select a date from the Next Payday Calendar Date Selector. To set the end of the next pay period for this new pay schedule, select a date from the End of Next Pay Period Calendar Date Selector. Then type a name for the new pay schedule into the Pay Schedule Name field. To set this pay schedule as the default for new employees you add, check the Use This Pay Schedule for Employees You Add After This One checkbox. The Upcoming Pay Periods chart at the right side of the window shows the upcoming pay periods and their associated pay days for this pay schedule, so you can make sure you have the correct dates selected. To then save the new pay schedule, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the Add a Pay Schedule window. Alternatively, to cancel it, click the Cancel button. Either way, you then return to the original window from which you opened the Add a Pay Schedule window. If you chose to save the new pay schedule, then your new pay schedule also appears as the selected choice in the How Often Do You Pay Employee Name drop-down. You may need to change this setting if it is incorrect for this employee. To save the changes to the employee's record if needed, Click the Done button in the lower right corner of the window when finished. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.